Okay guys, Houston Cowdog here, back for a quick little part two. Uh, show a few more, a couple of more trucks here. Show a few cars, show a couple of finds I've had recently. Um, guys, if you are on Instagram, look me up at uh, custom1 underscore 64 farm trucks. I know that my YouTube name should be the same as my Instagram name. I have no idea how to change my YouTube name. Not going to change my Instagram name. Maybe I'll get all that worked out and be a little less and have it be a little less confusing. But uh, Houston Cowdog here on YouTube. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoy the video, I hate to ask this, but please like, please comment with any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And please subscribe. I'm going to be posting uh, videos more regularly. I've, I've committed to do that. So we're going to try to get some more videos uploaded so you guys can watch. Let me know what you think. Okay, let's get started with part two. This is just going to be another green light I believe I should know these things, guys. I'm sorry, but I don't. But I believe this is from Blue Collar Series. It's the Dodge Snowplow truck. All I did on this guy was a wheel swap. I put the Ertl 2011 Ram 2500 wheels on it. And the green light tires back on the Ertl wheels. I think it made a huge difference. That's it. Very cool truck. Very glad they came out with this truck in a white with I would have preferred a chrome grill chrome bumper but if I guess I really wanted that I could grab another one that I've got down here in inventory and uh, swap that grill and rear bumper out let's see if, ah here we go yeah I guess if I really wanted a chrome bumper and grill I could just swap these out which I may do really like that white truck uh, really like that toolbox, the integrated toolbox bed. So maybe I will. Maybe I'll crack this one and base swap it to get the plow off of it and turn the charcoal truck here into the plow truck and turn the white truck into the Laramie or SLT with the chrome grill and bumpers. Okay, guys, that's it for that one. Here comes a showed this one briefly in the first video tonight uh, the new release of the Johnny Lightning 59 Ford F250 awesome truck one of my favorites of all time this started out as a racing champions casting way back in the day and then somehow through all the changing of hands of the companies Johnny Lightning eventually did one as well they did a very cool primer gray tow truck a John Deere truck and a few others for a long time, these were getting hard to come by. People were paying a premium for them on eBay. I'm glad that Johnny Lightning has decided to re-release this truck. Opening hood, I think. Yes. Doesn't open very well. Nice grill. Nice tempo on the hood for the Ford. And nice opening tailgate. This one has a hitch. This truck started out as a... Uh, green on the bottom, white on the top. It was very nice, but I'm like a little kid. I've got to change almost every toy car I have. Uh, it's almost as bad as a kid with a Sharpie. Came home, immediately detampoed it. It actually looks kind of nice because it looks a little weathered. Eventually, this truck will get a full repaint. I will probably paint it in sage green. I did put some bigger tires on it, too. So at some point soon, when I stop being lazy, I'll repaint this truck. I'll give it a proper lift, may do a wheel swap, and use those very nice steel wheels for something else. Um, and be done, and I'll re-show it again. Okay, guys. This is one of the newer racing champions. I say newer. I bought this truck, I believe, in April. Uh, Toys R Us. I actually was running through Louisiana. West Louisiana, found it in the Toys R Us there in Lake Charles. Very cool truck. I uh, did do a slight lift on it to accommodate these very awesome green light 
wheels and rubber off-road tires. Hood opens on this truck. And now let's, there we go. Very cool truck. Very nicely detailed grill, bumper, rear bumper. Very nice license plate. And very nice aluminum panel on the back. Very cool Bronco. All right, let's see what else we've got in this video. That's going to be it for the custom trucks that I've done recently. Uh, let's show you a couple of cars I've bought. Bought these two guys at the flea market last weekend here in Houston. Both Johnny Lightings. These are both from, I believe the series is called Hey, That Thing Got a Hemi. And it was a play on the advertising campaign at the time, which was around, well, these were released in 2004. These were a Toys R Us exclusive, I think. However, the release was, or the series was based off of a Chrysler Motor Company advertising, television advertising campaign, where somebody pulled up to a guy who was driving some kind of a new Dodge car or something and would yell, hey, that thing got a Hemi. Uh... This 70 Charger, lime green, very cool car. Again, opening hood. And the 70 or 71 Challenger, I don't know, my eyes are too bad to read. I believe it's a, does not say, it just says Dodge Challenger. It's either a 70 or 71. I like this car because it's just in the regular RT package with just the regular RT decals. Very nice badging. Tail light detail, gas cap, painted door handles, RT badging on the side. Krager SS with very nice raised white leather tires. I bought both these cars on the card. I opened them up, of course. I paid $3 each for them. That was a very exciting buy for me. Really happy to have these. And I was going through some Planos, some Jammers the other day I have, and I ran across these. I had not forgotten I had had them. However, I hadn't thought about them in quite a while. These are the two Motormax Ford Thunderbird releases. They are marked as 76s. Very cool cars. I wished I would have bought a lot more of the very cool Motormax cars when they were out. There was this, there was a Diplomat. It was a very cool 70 or 71 uh, Impala Coupe. There was a, I believe, a K car, a Fiero. A lot of really cool cars. I did not pay much attention to them at the time. I'm glad I grabbed these two. These are very cool. And here are the two of the new uh, Johnny Lightning Gran Torinos. One of my favorite castings. Absolutely think these new colors are beautiful. Really happy to have them. I've got a nice little collection of Torinos, some customs, most of them stock. I'll show these soon, guys. I'm going to get around to kind of showing some of my personal collection, which is really fairly modest. Uh, but I'm proud of it nonetheless, and we will get around to showing that. And real quick, because we are coming up on 10 minutes, and I wanted to get this video done in 10 minutes or less, let me show you. Grab this the other day. I want to open it. I'm going to open it, of course, because I'm going to make a custom, and I will probably get around to doing that this weekend. Very happy to find this. This is a very cool rollback tow truck. Do a cab swap on it. I'll have to stretch the frame to accommodate the new cab. Unless, you know, I think in the past I've been able to fit like an M2 COE cab on it. Like an M2 Ford or Dodge or even Chevrolet COE cab onto this chassis. Just do a wheel swap. And uh, throw this in the garbage after I strip the wheels off of it. And that's it. Glad to have found this one. And then I found this yesterday, day before yesterday at Toys R Us. This is the Toys R Us exclusive color on this 81 Camaro. There we go. And let's see here. Here is the blue one that's out right now. I guess it came out of the M case. Awesome. That's got a wheel swap on it. 
Uh, here's the green one that came in the Camaro release, I guess, last year. That also has a wheel swap on it. And here's one without a wheel swap on it. Really like the Hot Wheels uh, 81 Camaro casting. I'm very glad they made that because I can do stuff like this where I can make an attempt at least at doing an accurate one of my favorite cars ever 79 Z28 this car has the wheels on it that came off of this originally this Gone Fishing Johnny Lightning 2000 Chevrolet Silverado release I don't know why they would have put a correct wheel from an 80 or 81 Z28 or 85, 6 or 7 Monte Carlo SS on a 2000 Silverado half ton however that is a correct, if you look at it, an absolutely correct wheel for 80, 81 Z28. And I believe may have just been 87 Monte Carlo SS's or it may have been 85, 86, 87 Monte Carlo SS's. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I promise I'm going to try to make more videos and get them uploaded. Uh, and please like. Please comment if you have any questions. Please subscribe if you like the content. Remember to check me out on Instagram. One or custom one underscore sixty four farm trucks. And this one I was just kind of playing around with the other day because I took the wheels off of to use on something else. So I found these. I don't even know. I guess those are some Mesto wheels or something to put on that truck. It's got a lift. And here's another quick little M two Ford. That actually has some wheels that I painted with the Molotov Chrome pin. Those are wheels off of a Johnny Lightning Scout. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.